All right, good morning, everybody. We had some great success painting the cab with um, the shadow effect. That's the original where I got my inspiration from. It came out on an auction site. I contacted the company to see if I could use a couple of shots, and they said, sure. GatewayClassicCars.com Contact them for any um, of your classic car needs you may have. Now this is a long build series, but it seemed longer because this time I did something different that I never do before. That is, I pretty much filmed every episode, treating each episode as an individual shop manual. Um, I'm not suggesting anyone go back and binge watch, though I would, but you could go back and pick out episodes that may interest you, or have some information that you may be interested in. I may not explain myself maybe properly on these videos I had no intention ever of uh, of filming these things so basically what I'm doing is I'm talking out loud that's all I'm doing there's no script there's no topics I want to cover pretty much I'm talking out loud and having the camera on sharing with you so I may babble like a parrot or be all over the place. But with this three little series of quick videos we just did here yesterday and today, you're starting to see where the method to my madness or un inability to explain where it comes from and where it's going. So she came out fantastic. What we'll do right now is we'll kill the lights or certain lights so you can see the shadow effect I was going for. Uh, pretty much the prototype on the videotape is pretty much pristine. So I wanted to keep this thing also pristine. Um, I was hesitant in using panel wash for to bring out highlights because I didn't see panel lines that stood out in terms of how we model on the video of the original one, the prototype. So the only thing I came up with was using all these little cheeks and curves and panels and bulges on the, on the cab that Ford built into the cab when they designed it, use it to my advantage and use the highlighting effect. Let me get a pointer here. There we go. Let me get a better pointer. So what I did, let me kill some lights here and we'll start to see the effect I believe I'm trying to achieve. I don't know if it's that much more noticeable in that shot. Let me try something else. This, okay, this should work, something like that. But you could see, I'm, I'm exaggerating the shadows right now with an overhead light. Oh, we'll just use the original one, I guess. Let's see. Okay, that might be better. Now, in the last video, I noticed I had a lot of orange peel up on the roof. So I went up there and wet sanded that and reshot it. came out beautiful. Um, where there's highlighting effects, it would be right along here. Here, the edges of the, the roof with the yellow being um, hit with a lighter color. Lighter colors up here to highlight what I was trying to do is in terms of sh shadows. I also only hit the top up here. So, uh, in person, it looks fantastic. It looks like there's layers of paint, literally, like steps. Many, many coats, and you can see right through them, and the, the darker orange just pops right out. I'm not sure we're getting that on video. I kind of doubt it, 
but um i'll hold it up to the camera let me see let's try if i hit it with this light no all right let's we're trying all sorts of combinations here now let's just keep all the brights on well i couldn't find a sweet spot So let me hold it up here. So, so when you move into shadow, it kind of all goes away. Like when I move back towards the camera, towards you guys. And when I move it under a bright light source or just a more lighter light source, you can start to see the, the, the center is a lighter orange or yellow and uh, the outside is the original darker and you can kind of pick it up there especially in this corner more but if the effect goes all the way around it, in person it looks stunning i'm not lying to you guys this thing looks stunning uh, on the video i'm through the lens right now i'm trying to see how it looks it looks pretty cool but uh, not as stunning as in person so you may be able to pick out some it's more it's a little bit exaggerated here in this shot you may be able to pick out along the top of these cheeks here or door panel where i hit it with a, a lighter color a little bit on top of this fender flare right about here and the lighter color goes all the way around only on this top portion all the way back to the other side also what i did is i brought it around uh, let's see through the back so it runs along here i also gave it a little right on this corner here in this corner here i gave it a light light um pass of the lighter color so let's try this will explain it better I'm tickled pink. It came out fantastic. In person, it looks amazing. Um, it's hard to capture that with all these lights. Maybe I got to have a more neutral type light setup for doing this type of stuff. But until that day comes, this is all I got. And um, definitely did want to share it with you guys. Remember the, um, the bolt head detail we added? Yeah, let me, let me come over here on this side. And grab a light. There's our bolt head detail. So it doesn't stand out that much, but it's there. And now that I know it's there, I would not have been comfortable had I just finished the model, not included the bolt head rivet detail down here. Um, you know, I don't know why, but modelers love rivets. That's all I get. That's all I can say, and I'm one of those. But um, how about if we kill all the lights except that one? So more or less, that's what I'm trying to to show. Um, interesting. When I shoot the finale, I'm gonna have a different light set up because I would sure like to uh, show this girl off. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's back off. We're gonna end this video right about video right about here. Uh, if you, anyone new bumping coming across this video or video series um if you're interested how the whole build or any steps on the build 
I think there's going to be about 25 episodes. Go on back. They go back a few months. And uh, you go back way in the beginning how it wasn't just my bill, but rather the um, YouTube modelers who joined me on this build and keep providing me with um, advice, information, uh, data, ideas. Uh, it, it's a build. It's actually more of a community build where ideas are passed along freely and shared and um, examined and um, and counter ideas and so on and so on and I literally will change the direction of a build and I did it many times on this build based on what uh, a viewer tells me and uh, it's interesting it's a different way of doing it but mainly what I'm trying to do is just pass along what I've learned building models my entire life adult lifetime and just passing it on to the next generation and uh, as I start thinking of retirement very near down the road but um let's do this before we end the video but um Hopefully you guys get an idea of what I'm trying to do. So another reason why I did it, and I was really eagerly looking forward to practicing it on here and, and doing it. Uh, how it came out, I had no no clue how it was going to come out, but I was going to make it right. And the main reason why is because, um, is, <laughs> is, 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 what was I going to say? Oh, okay. The, um, I had the cab actually all painted yellow, no shading, no nothing. And I was going to start hitting it with a, a couple little panel line washes for the doors and stuff. And uh, it, the, I was ready to go to the next step, which was going to be the marker lights and the mirrors and stuff. But um, it was too orange. It was just a big orange block. It looked good. It actually looked very, very good. But to me, um, the... the, the the, the doors, the curves, the, the cheeks on the side of this thing. And I call them cheeks because with those two eyes and that opening down there, it looks it looks like a person. Kind of pissed off, but it does look like a person who's, you know, about to punch somebody in the nose. So adding that shadow effect just kind of brought out those details. Um... You can see where I'm going, what I'm trying to do. You saw the video. You've been seeing the video. I've been playing it. And uh, we're just about there, gentlemen. We're just about there. I'm going to end this video right about here. I don't want to keep them too long. But I did want to share with everyone who has participated. Every single one of you guys who has commented and joined along this build. And not just this build, other builds. Uh, thank you. This is where we where this is where we have gotten. You notice that I didn't say I have gotten. Thanks, guys. I really, really appreciate that. Um, uh, you guys did this. <laughs> you guys are all right, man. You guys did that. Check out your work. Admire what you guys have contributed. She'll be done here in a few days. Um, maybe in about a week. No hurry now. I'm, I'm as happy as pie. But um, you guys, this is your guys' build. Um, we'll put something right there. Well, that's fine. We're going to end it right here anyways. All the way from a custom metal, complete metal brass dashboard, which I re had to redo. Uh, the, instead of using the AMT kit one. 
because in 1965, Ford C900 had a totally different dash setup than what comes out of the AMT kit. The AMT kit is more of a 1970-71-ish from what I've been reading. I was modeling, I'm modeling a 1965 version. All right, so let's do something one last time. Let's do it like this. Now let's kill all these side lights. A little better you get the idea there's a lot a lot a lot a lot of custom modifications to this kit you're looking at right now we did a we we did a lot of work we came up with a lot of neat ideas, and if you anyone's interested, uh, check out the videos, going back to video number one on this build. Um, I, I may have a hard time explaining what I'm trying to shoot for, but as the videos go on, especially at this stage, you now have an idea, and um, it's all starting to make sense right now. That's it for today. You guys take care. Uh, enjoy this beautiful Saturday, warm Saturday in the middle of July, 2022. And I will be back with maybe another couple of little quick videos and then the finale. Once again, I want to tell everybody who's been following this build and participating or even not participating. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. And I want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thanks.